In this video we'll look at a simple height safety kit that will allow you to stay compliant when working at height. If you need more information, site visits, information on training, please contact us at Surtex. And before we use any harness and lanyard, it's important that we always give it a good, thorough, visual and tactile examination to make sure it's fit and safe to be used. If you have any questions about whether your harness is fit for use, go and seek the advice of your competent person. And the Powertech Scaffolders Kit, two-point harness with the extension on the rear for use with fall arrest recovery blocks. Swing the harness on. Chest through our attachment point. Back, quick buckle just snaps shut. Legs we can undo. Simply pass them around and they also snap shut. To adjust the harness we have adjustment in the shoulders and in the legs. Shoulders nice and tight so it's just the flat of the hand through and readjust my legs. Again spare webbing can be tidied away with the web tidies. On the harness we have a front and rear attachment and we have a choice of where we can wear our fall arrest lanyards. We can take our triple action aluminium twist lock carabiner into the rear. We can wear it on the front as well. It's a personal choice. And we now have lanyards ready for use. Now we're in the scaffold, it's important to remain attached at all times. Large aluminium scaffold hooks, double action, can go straight over scaffolding tubes, give us a secure anchor point. Remaining attached at all times is important. Keeping our anchor points as high as possible means that our full factor is smaller, but we can also reduce the length of the lanyard further. This changes our position to a restraint rather than fall arrest. Anchor points can be a different rated load and our working position is safer. 